Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you. Hi, I'm Emmy Hall, and welcome to another episode of Roadfly TV. I'd like you to sit back, relax, and put aside any prejudices you might have towards this week's car. That's right, I would like you to open your mind to the 2011 Kia Optima SX Turbo. It's lean, it's mean, and it is one damn fine looking machine. You probably have it in your head that the Optima is a ho-hum, boring, everyday kind of car. And that might have been true in the past, but this newly designed 2011 model has gone from ugly duckling to swan. It's lower and wider than last year's model, and unlike cars from its sister company Hyundai, which is all about fluid lines, the Optima has an aggressive and muscular stance. Of course, it sports the signature tiger nose grille, which immediately identifies it as a Kia. And I really like the blacked out lower vent housing here in the front for the fog lamps. It adds just another kick of cool to a front end already overflowing with personality. Add to that the 18 inch tires with alloy sport wheels and the panoramic sunroof, holla! And you've got a Kia that's both distinctive and sporty. The interior of the Optima is pretty spacious, with plenty of legroom both in the front and in the rear. And you'd think with this coupe styling that you'd lose some headroom back here, but it's just not true. I mean, I'm 5'9", I'm 5'10 I'm with my hair, and I got plenty of room. Now the interior of the Kia is super sleek. With all this black leather and the carbon fiber look, it kind of looks like the bachelor pad of the guy your mom warned you about. Uh, Sirius satellite radio, Bluetooth, and a USB port are standard on even the lowest trim levels. And our test model here comes with a nav system with a backup camera, uh, tilt and telescoping steering wheel with your audio and cruise controls mounted right here. It's got push button start, heated and cooled seats in the front, and heated seats in the rear. And just to make sure that you can rock it old school style, the Infinity 8 speaker audio system comes with a single disc CD player. You know, for all your Pearl Jam CDs. And since I can't drive anywhere without a soda of some kind, I was glad to see that the cooling glove box comes standard across all trim levels. And in all seriousness, the interior of the Optima really is inching closer and closer towards a European level of luxury. And that's pretty impressive considering the MSRP of this car is about $26,000. Now the trunk space in the Optima is a pretty average 15.5 cubic feet of space. However, it does have 60-40 rear seats that will fold down, but the pass-through is a little bit smaller than you would expect. However, even with all of that, I am able to give it a laundry basket rating of 5. The Optima boasts a 2.0 turbocharged 4-cylinder engine, which produces 270 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque. It goes from 0 to 60 in about 6.5 seconds, which matches the Toyota Camry, and it's a full second faster than the Honda Accord, both of those having their optional V6 engines. Our test model came with a 6-speed automatic transmission that, with an echo setting that can be operated manually from the shifter here or from the flappy paddles. If you're going to have this half-and-half -half manual thing, I much prefer the steering wheel-mounted flappy paddle shifters. The transmission in this car shifted pretty quickly, and it helps the Kia achieve an EPA fuel rating of 22 in the city, 34 on the highway, and a combined rating of 26 miles per gallon. Overall, I was pretty pleased with the handling of the Kia. With McPherson struts in the front and a multi-link kit in the back, it handled the notorious streets of downtown DC pretty well. Now, I would probably fail miserably if I tried to autocross this car, but with the coilovers and the anti-sway bars, it certainly does hug the road as much as any reasonable buyer would expect. After all, it's a family car, it's not a sporty car. I will say that the steering felt just a little bit heavy and I was able to get kind of squirrely in the rain even with the traction control on. Now those are two things that have been mentioned by other reviewers, so it's definitely something to look at when you go and test drive this car. Kia has managed to put a lot of features into a car that most consumers want. Good gas mileage, excellent styling, a 10 year, 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty, and a lot of bang for your buck. This week I covered up all the Kia badges before I got the car valley parked, and when I came back and unveiled my ruse, the parking garage guy was like, what? And then when I told him that this car comes in at just over $30,000, he went bananas. Hey, I'm just doing my part to rid this world of hate, you know what I'm saying? That's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emmy Hall, and I would love for you to join our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel and leaving me your comments. I do read every single one of them, and if they're funny, I might even respond, hmm? You can like me on Facebook and view the window sticker for the 2011 Kia Optima SX Turbo over on roadflytv.com. Thanks for watching. Roadfly.com, the internet's best resource for buyers, sellers, and owners like you.